It's a very dangerous environment right now in the Middle East. I think, uh, you know, unfortunately, Trump's really reckless and needless uh, policies towards Iran have really, you know, exacerbated tensions in the region, made the situation, made Americans fundamentally less safe. I think the Iranians are also signaling that they want something proportional. So because the U.S. killed a military official, it is possible that American military officials are the most vulnerable to an Iranian attack, and they are also the most protected. U.S. military personnel are under no greater direct danger. Uh, they're very, very well equipped. They're very well armed. They're very well trained. Okay, we're going to see further Iranian retaliations down the road, perhaps more covert actions, maybe assassinations or bombings. Ultimately, they're rational strategists, and they know that any type of a serious military conflict with the United States would not only be the end of the regime, it would likely be the end of the lives of many of these leaders in Iran. Iran really has very few sound, credible options for retaliation against the United States that won't bring about the military destruction of its economy through the destruction of its oil refineries, or that will continue to flatten an already collapsed economy due to the possibility of secondary sanctions. Trump has said he's going to impose new sanctions, and he's basically staking, doubling down on a failed policy. I think the context of all these escalatory developments that have happened recently is very important. And that context is Trump's this so-called maximum pressure campaign against Iran, which is really economic warfare against Iran. So I think where we are right now is perhaps, whether it's deliberate or unwitting, a U.S. strategy of escalation to de-escalate. And maybe cooler heads will prevail.